guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Happy World Oceans Day. So today I will be, as you can tell from the thumbnail, talking about World Oceans Day and how you at home can help save the planet, save the oceans, and also help save lots of sea animals. And if anyone's gonna save us, it's us. So the first thing is, as I'm sure most of you have heard on social media, within about the next 10 years, they say by 2033, which may sound a long way away, but it isn't actually, um, the oceans will have increased by 1.5 degrees Celsius. And that, again, it doesn't sound like a lot, but that, that slight change will result in about 99% of the reefs around the world dying. And these reefs are very important because they help in biodiversity and they are home to about 4,000 different um, fish species around the world, um, which means if they're gone, so are those species. And that also means less food for us, which is it's a big problem because that cuts out a lot of the world's main food supply. The second thing are all those single-use plastics that we use in our day-to-day -day lives, like bottles, um, even the packaging that all the food now comes in. Um, I know there are many stores that are starting to try to reduce those. Woolworths is an example. They're trying to go, uh, I know they've removed a lot of their plastic bags from I think all of their stores in South Africa um, and are still trying to reduce their plastics in their packaging but there are millions and millions of tons throughout the oceans there's actually a big patch in the North Atlantic known as the Atlantic garbage patch and that's estimated to have around 200,000 tons of pack of single-use plastics alone just in there um, but thanks to awesome projects like the Ocean Cleanup Project, um, which Mr. Beast Save the Seas helped um, fund last year, um, they're helping to go and clean up those big areas, as well as rivers with their, inter with their interceptors and all that. It's actually they've got some quite cool technology. Go, I do suggest you go and check them out afterwards. Um, and the third thing is seismic surveys. They can be um, quite damaging to local communities that use them for fish because they even though they might not damage them which I'm still not 100% sure it doesn't damage the environment I think it does but there's no so far in the courts it hasn't been presented that it does but um, I could imagine that it does harm local communities that use those natural resources so it is quite important that we manage and protect these oceans not just for the animals themselves but for us so that and future generations so that they can still use those resources further down the line um so thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed it leave a like um so that it can be pushed out to more people more people can see it and see you in the next video if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to go check out that playlist down below or the suggested videos down there also please go and click that red subscribe button right next to me see you guys in the next video